Let's discuss about another, one of the often observed issues in availability group, node-to-node -node communication failure. This communication failure can lead to several outage issues. Uh, in the session, we will discuss about synchronization break. So, I have three replicas. However, I experienced intermittent synchronization break with one of my secondary replica. My database in this replica became in resolving state. Now, it is working fine, of course. To check what happened at this issue time, I open error log in primary. Here, you can see primary is experiencing connection timeout with secondary replica, and connection is being terminated. And after around 10 seconds, connection is being established again. Let's now go to secondary. In the secondary also, we can see local cluster service is going offline. Afterwards, we can see quorum is being lost in this node. As a result, AG resource in this node is stop, being stopped and our SQL cluster is becoming a resolving state. It was normal before, now becoming no, a resolving state, right? As a result, database is also becoming resolving state. This database becoming resolving state means that database is inaccessible and synchronization to this database has been broken. Okay, synchronization is not happening. Afterwards, we are waiting for the cluster to become online because it went offline here, right? So. After around 20 minutes, cluster is online and local replica is becoming normal state. As a result, our database is online and synchronization continues. When we check event logs, we can see a node is being removed from the cluster. So what is happening? How can we connect these logs to each other and come to exact hypothesis? Let me explain in detail. Each node in Windows Failover cluster has a membership mechanism, which we call vote. If a node has membership vote in the cluster, their vote becomes equal to 1. You can confirm the votes by going to Windows Failover cluster nodes. Assigned vote here means the vote we configured, okay? Current vote means the actual votes, because due to some issues, the nodes might lose vote, although we configured them. If any node loses membership in the cluster, this current vote becomes zero. Here, all, all members have votes and 100% votes exist. In this case, we say quorum exists in the cluster. Okay, this is a terminology we use. Quorum exists. So, now, let's discuss how this quorum might be lost. To keep membership and quorum, cluster services in each replica exchange small heartbeat packets at UDP port 3343. Now, suppose because of some network issue, this heartbeat communication failed. When primary node detects a communication failure from series of unacknowledged heartbeats, it broadcasts a message causing all reachable nodes and they reconfigure vote. In other words, primary says to this reachable node, hey buddy, now only two of us exist. I lost communication with another buddy. Okay? Also, it removes this failure node from the cluster. Therefore, you face node removal logs in system event logs. As a result, only two votes are left and quorum is kept in primary replica site because what percentage is more than 50%? Okay? So, it means that if vote is more than 50%, we do not lose quorum. What about secondary replica? After losing heartbeat, secondary first makes reconnection attempts. If reconnection attempt also fail, it takes cluster service in, in local cluster service offline and vote of this node is, ta is taken, making it equal to zero. After that, local quorum is lost and AG is taken offline. Then, the cluster service in secondary tries to be, uh, become online by trying to reconnect on heartbeat. 
it constantly retries, okay? It constantly retries to connect to primary. When network is restored and heartbeat is restored, then membership vote is restored automatically and cluster becomes online on this node, okay, on this on this secondary, and our database also become online state. In our case also, the same issue happened. Due to some reason, primary has lost communication with secondary replica, and as a result, this secondary has been removed. Let's now check the cluster logs from primary side first, okay? So here, you can see remote endpoint, which is secondary here, is becoming unreachable from primary. Pay attention. This 3343 is heartbeat port and secondary replica IP. This clearly shows heartbeat failure. Here, you can see primary is cleaning up converse conversations with failed replica. Let's go down a little. Here you can clearly see primary replica is saying, hey, I'm losing communication with the secondary replica. Here primary is resetting vote by including only two nodes. Now we have two nodes and two votes only. Okay. Let's now go to secondary replica side cluster lock, okay? Because you should collect the cluster lock separately from secondary and primary, okay? Because the locks might be different. Therefore, you should see cluster locks diff uh, separately from primary and secondary side. Do not forget this point. Okay, you can see here secondary side is also trying to connect on heartbeat port. Interesting. Both sites are alive and trying to connect for heartbeat exchange. Exchange but failing, right? So both sites are trying to connect. If we check meaning of this 10060, right? We can see that the connected party did not respond properly. Okay, mm, it means we are trying to connect, but the other party is not responding. If you go down, you can witness several reconnect attempts by the secondary. This clearly shows secondary always tries to reconnect. Since reconnects are failing, cluster is going offline and quorum is being lost in this secondary. Okay, so to summarize, cluster service in both primary and secondary are failing to exchange heartbeat packet at port 3343 and as a result, the secondary is being removed from the cluster. This caused synchronization break. So what might cause connection failures between the nodes? Firstly, I can say antivirus, okay? You should exclude the following file system locations from virus scanning on server. If antivirus prevents access to these files, you might face connection failures on heartbeat. Secondly, inaccessible ports. You should exclude these cluster related ports from firewall and firewall should not prevent access. Okay, sometimes firewalls uh, prevent uh, intermittent access and it causes this heartbeat loss. Thirdly, and most importantly, heartbeat is often lost due to packet loss, outdated drivers or network congestion. Okay, you should cooperate with your network team to investigate these points. Actually, node-to-node -node communication is outside of scope of uh, DBAs. Okay, mostly it comes to network issue, Windows issue. Okay, you should cooperate with your uh, with a respective team to uh, troubleshoot this issue. I hope you found this session useful. Let's now discuss about another issue coming from node-to-node -node communication failure, quorum loss. This is nearly the same with synchronization failure. The only difference here is you face quorum loss in primary, okay? Not in secondary, in primary and also secondary, and whole cluster goes down. We talked about heartbeat loss with only one node, right? So what happens if heartbeat is lost with two nodes at the same time. 
In this case, primary is left alone with only 33% votes. In this case, as votes decreased less than 50%, the whole cluster, including primary side cluster, goes down, losing quorum. Each node loses quorum. As a result, databases become resolving state in primary and inaccessible even for applications and uh, you, you will face outage in both primary and DR sites. For example, this is primary replica logs. Here you can see primary is losing quorum. As a result, AG is going offline and databases becoming unavailable. Cause of this quorum loss is the same. Heartbeat is lost and we should investigate why heartbeat is being lost. We can investigate firewall settings and network performance in the same way as we did in previous issue, right? Now, you might ask a question, okay, if quorum is lost and the whole cluster goes down, how to bring cluster back again? This is a very much important point. There are two scenarios. If heartbeat communication is restored with any of the replicas, quorum will be restored automatically. As a result, primary side comes back by default because there is a retry mechanism to restore bandwidth, okay? Or there is a retry mechanism. But what if heartbeat is not restored? In this case, the whole cluster will stay inaccessible, right? Your application cannot access to even primary. In this situation, in order to bring the cluster back online, you have to manually start cluster in primary with forced quorum. Let's see an example. Here you can see my AG is in resolving state in primary replica. The dashboard is also showing errors. If I check the logs, I can see the quorum has been lost. If I go to secondary, AG is resolving state also there. So, my whole cluster is down with quorum lost and it is not coming back. Because heartbeat is not being restored because of some network issue, I need to bring the application and database online as soon as possible. In this case, I go to primary and open failure cluster manager. Here, you can see cluster is down and if you check the logs, you can confirm it is down due to quorum loss. As first step, I try to start the cluster normally. If it does not work, I go to PowerShell here, okay, and run this force quorum start command. Then I go to SSMS in primary replica. Please pay attention here. This is very much important. After forcing quorum, you should go to SSMS in primary replica or any replica which is accessible to you and start force manual failover. You can see warning here, of course, about data loss. We don't have another choice, okay? I'm doing force failover in the primary, so the possibility of data loss is very less because this is primary, right? It was primary before. After this, you can see my primary has come back online again. So what about other secondary replicas in this case? In this case, if heartbeat is restored and other secondaries come back online after a while, right? They automatically recognize this primary server as primary and continue to work as secondary by default. You don't need to worry. But, but, you should resume data movement in secondary. Okay? So, most important part. Quorum, if quorum is lost, you should do force quorum. Okay, then go to SSMS and do forced manual failover. And third, if a secondary comes back online, other secondaries come back on online, you should resume data movement. Okay. For example, here, my secondaries came back online. If I go to secondary, I can see data movement has been suspended here. This is expected behavior. Okay, do not forget this. I resume data movement. Okay, that's all. Synchronization continues. 
Okay? So, I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for your time. Thank <music> you.